right, when you're ready. Your captain. Chief. Chief, sorry. No worries. I'm here with Chief Terry Abel here on uh, in the Florida Keys on Ala Morada, and he was going to um, talk a little bit about what it was like here when the storm went through. That's all right. Yes, sir. Um, again, Terry Abel, Ala Morada Fire Rescue. Uh, predictions went left, predictions went right, and uh, we ended up luckily on the good side of it as it went more towards Key West. The, uh, the winds came and they stayed here for about 30 hours. Uh, about the time it got dark, a little after midnight or so, the, the winds came, stayed uh, for about 12 hours or so. Uh, we lost power, obviously we lost all communications. We went through plan A, went into plan B, plan B failed a few hours later, went into plan C. <laughs> that one failed as well, so then we went into plan D and we made that happen. Uh, we've, we've maintained off and on communications with our county EOC, which has been phenomenal. Uh, outside resources, the Air National Guard and everything. The problem is uh, we've lost water, we've lost power, we've run out of fuel, getting uh, assets down. We've got coordination with the Air National Guard coming down. So getting everything here is an issue. It's nice that uh, Direct Larry Leaf was able to make it here and uh, give us some assistance because right now it's a little slow on the uptick trying to get here, especially with Harvey two weeks ago occurring and the rest of the state's getting what we had yesterday. They're feeling it now and it's going up the country. So um, all in all, it looks pretty bad out there, but uh, we'll survive, we'll get through it and we'll be a stronger community afterwards, you know? That was perfect, uh, thank you. I think one thing, so what we're doing here now, um, Mr. Abel's been nice enough to hold on to these uh, direct relief emergency health kits so that when the clinic opens up, they can come grab it um, for their patients. The hospital down the road, um, Mariner Hospital is also opening up at seven in the morning so he can make it available to them as well if there's a need. Um, and we're gonna be in communications so that any more medicines or, or medical teams might be able to come and assist if there's a need. Absolutely. We appreciate you guys coming. Again, the, the hospital opens at seven. We don't know when the Good Health Clinic will be able to open up. Uh, the hospital has to open in order for the utility companies to start working. Then they've got to get power to that and get restored. Uh, there's still quite a few issues as far as access south and uh, road is not cleared completely yet. So it's not safe to come down. Uh, so the resources that would operate the Good Health Clinic and provide primary care for those in need, unfortunately, they're still up in the mainland and they can't make it past the checkpoints to come down here. So uh, this will help out greatly. We can provide a stopgap and the hospital, if uh, they need any of your resources from direct relief, we'll be more than happy to help them out and pass the, the goods along. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.